That looks spectacular. Spectacular. If you want to make spectacular cream of mushroom soup, do what me and Charlotte did. High five. What's going on everybody? Welcome into another episode of Sugar with Chandler and Charlotte is now apparently a full-time guest on this show. Today we're making cream of mushroom soup from scratch. Uh, I got another recipe that I'm working on, this spaghetti bake thing, mushroom. and it called for cream of mushroom, uh, condensed cream of mushroom from Campbell's, and like, I love that stuff, it's great, but I was like, man, what if we could like do that from scratch and just elevate those flavors just a little bit? So that's what we're doing tonight. We're gonna make okay. cream of mushroom soup with butter from scratch. You know, butter is better. I love butter. Everybody loves butter, Charlotte. Yeah. And it's really yummy. And I love we need a Charlotte t-shirt that says, it's real yummy. Let's get into this. First thing we're gonna do here is turn our uh, soup pot, just regular old, I don't know how many quarts this is. Are you gonna make it? <laughs> That's so hot because that hurts my 24 tongue. quart maybe. Are you all right? Yep. Anyways, we're gonna get our regular soup pot here. We're gonna get it up and to butter. temperature. We're gonna do the butter next. We're doing that on medium heat. All right, let's try and okay. see if it's ready. Well, it's a little hot now. We weren't paying attention. Yeah, let's try that again. All right, so now that our pan is up, we're gonna drop in four tablespoons of butter. Oh, it can move by itself, Daddy? It can move a little bit by itself, yeah. That's right. Go. So we're gonna take our one medium onion here. We're gonna drop it right into the butter. And we want to sweat these guys out. Medium heat, these guys are going to sweat down about two minutes. So usually you want your onions to be really nice and uniform chopped, but with this one it's not that big a deal. This is all going into a blender at the very end of this thing. You ever tried to cook with something like hanging on your left arm? It's gonna take about two minutes for those onions and then we're gonna be ready to put the garlic in. Now I've committed a little bit of a kitchen sin here today. I'm gonna go with this, let me see if I can get this to work. I'm gonna go with this uh, pre-diced garlic already. Uh, I've been cooking a lot lately. Garlic. I know what my garlic is. Yeah? It's my pretend garlic. Oh, I found it. Pretend garlic. Uh, I've been cooking a lot lately and garlic is always a pain in the butt to prep. So I've got a jar of this in the fridge for nights when I'm just feeling a little lazy. And tonight is one of those nights. If I was going with fresh garlic tonight, I'd probably go with four cloves of this stuff. But since we're doing this pre-chopped here, I'm probably gonna do uh, one tablespoon. You gotta be real careful with your garlic. You don't, you want it to, here baby girl. You wanna be real careful with your garlic here. You want it to basically, you become aromatic, but you don't really want it to toast or burn or turn brown. So you gotta really watch it here. I love to go with, I love to go with butter, onion, and garlic to start a lot of my recipes because they're great building blocks of flavor that you can build any kind of building on. Like our potato soup recipe, click right here to watch that. Is that a lot of words? Yeah. Too many words? Um, um, I don't, I can't say that word because I don't know what that is. All right, once we've got our garlic worked in there, we're gonna add our two pounds of mushrooms right into the center. Now, you don't have to chop these yet, um, uh, because again, they're all going I into the blender. I have 10 mushrooms. Okay, mushrooms. Can you push that on the back for me so it doesn't accidentally fall off? Yeah. You can use any kind of mushroom for this, really. I'm going with the baby Bellas. I just like them. Nice, nice umami flavor. Mommy. Ooh, umami, not mommy. Umami. And we're doing two pounds of these. Hey, Daddy, I have a garlic right here. We're gonna have these guys work in the pot for about five minutes. All right, so our mushrooms, they've been going for about five minutes here. Uh, you know they're ready to go when they pull up and they start having this like watery mixture in the bottom. That's when they've really broken down and all that moisture in those mushrooms is, has fallen out and sort of made this the beginning part of our, uh, our soup liquid base. 
All right, next thing we're gonna do is add in a half a cup of flour. I'm gonna sprinkle this in a little bit at a time. You don't wanna just dump the whole thing in. So I like to cover the whole top one time and then mix it all around. And that way you can sort of incorporate it evenly and it helps eliminate some of that clumping that can happen with flour. Or you can just use a sifter, you know, whatever, whatever you fancy folks do out there. I need you want to do this right here, Daddy. Okay. All right, incorporating the last little bit of our flour in here. Yep, that nice roux is starting to thicken up. It's not really a roux, I don't think. I'm not really Mine's that technical. Better. Charlie, your <laughs> yours is always better, baby. Yeah, but it's gonna be really good. thick. It's gonna have like a nice pasty, mushroomy sort of consistency. All right, now that our uh, mushrooms are ready to go with the flour, we're gonna take 32 ounces of chicken broth and dump it in I the pool. I got chicken broth. Basically right now, everything's going in the pool. You doing chicken broth in yours too? Mm -hmm. Next thing we're gonna add is one cup, half and half. I have one cup and half and half. half, and half. All right, I'm gonna give, uh, give those two things a little mix here. Sort of take, I'm gonna take the hard edge of your wooden spoon and really scrape the bottom of the pan. Oh my gosh, I forgot my butter in here. I think the fancy term for that is deglazing, but. Uh, Dad, I put my um, butter in here. All right, now that we got our liquid in there, we wanna add two beef bouillon cubes, and I then got, we wanna do I our salt two and pepper. See what they look like? Yeah. They're like little cubes of intense flavor. What about chocolate? They're not chocolate. They look like chocolate. They do look like chocolate, but they're not chocolate. But I, they're just pretend chocolate. They're pretend chocolate, yeah. You would have a very bad time if you tried to eat this like you eat chocolate. You love chocolate, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Chocolate yummy, yummy. Chocolate yummy? Yeah. I like chocolate too. Um, now we've already got a lot of sodium in this with the chicken broth and the bouillon cube, so I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of uh, kosher salt here and about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Now that we got everything in the soup here, we're going to turn it up and let it boil, and once it comes to a boil, we're gonna turn it down to a simmer for 10 minutes. I wanna make sure that we stir it occasionally because we don't want the bottom of this to burn, especially with that milk product in there. You gotta watch that stuff, it will curdle on you. Sitting here looking at this soup mixture, you know what that looks like? Uh-huh. What does it look like? Um, soup. It does look like soup. Uh, the liquid part has kind of turned this like Cocoa Puffs milk color. And if you've ever had a bowl of Cocoa Puffs, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so while the soup's cooking, we're gonna get our uh, Ninja blender down. I love this thing. I'll get my Ninja. What kind of blender do you have? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm sitting here looking at this and now I'm a little worried. One, two, this thing says it's 72 ounces. No. 72 ounces. Uh, but I'm kind of looking at how much liquid we got in this pot right now, and I don't know. You think it's gonna all fit, Charlotte? Uh, think that's gonna fit in there? Yeah. I think so. But mine's gonna we'll fit. We'll see. Mine's gonna fit. Charlotte says it'll fit, it'll fit. We've got about three minutes left here, and I've continually kind of run this wooden spoon along the bottom of the pan. I'm really trying to get all those little bits of intense flavor off the bottom of that thing so they can really make this soup pop. All right, so we're about two minutes out here. In the last two minutes, we're gonna add a teaspoon of thyme. Uh, we don't wanna put the thyme in too soon because I don't wanna burn it, I don't wanna overcook it, uh, but I want it in there just long enough to sort of become aromatic. I love thyme and mushroom soup because those mushrooms with the thyme, thyme is kind of like eating like what pine trees smell like, but it's amazing. And when you combine mushrooms and thyme together, uh, they sort of work together to make you feel, like I'm from South Georgia originally, it just sort of tastes like being in the pine woods in South Georgia, it's awesome. I wish you guys can smell this. Every time you see that steam waft up in my face, it just makes me so happy. All right, we're gonna turn our heat off, and now I'm gonna try to transfer this without making a giant, giant mess. Question is, do you go forward dip or backwards dip? I don't really have the room to do a backwards dip, but I'm gonna try to make it work, because that's my preferred method. Oh, are we gonna make it? We're so close! It fit! It fit! Yeah! Good job, you were right! Phew, that was close. That was, look at how close that was. Alright, now I'm gonna get out. Oh my gosh, look, we have like no room to spare there.
Look at that. Everything is super, super finely chopped now. Soup is done. That looks spectacular. Spectacular. If you want to make spectacular cream of mushroom soup, do what me and Charlotte did. High five. If I right. your video, click online. Something about a video, click online. I love the consistency of this. You can still see, I don't know if we can get this here. You can see all the little uh, bits of mushroom in there. All right, this thing's all done. Last thing to do, we got to taste. That is it. You wanna try some? No, <laughs> no. When are you gonna try some food, girl? Try some. No. If anybody's got any advice on how to get toddlers to eat things that aren't, you know, grilled cheese, macaroni, chicken nuggets, you know, love, let me know in the comments below. Macaroni. Oh no, it's all good. That's good. There's that. Apparently, she must be a TikTok star, not a YouTube star. You could eat this soup by itself, and and it's a full meal at this point. You got those big time flavors coming in. Oh, that umaminess of those mushrooms is coming through right now. So good. Last thing we gotta do here is let this guy cool down and I'm gonna put it into Tupperware containers and store it until we need to use it. Chicken wing, chicken wing, chicken, chicken. You say hot dog and a roni? 